Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I have a collective haul from PG Cheap, one thing from Amazon, um, some stuff from AliExpress, and a few little Easter things from HEB, which is a grocery store we have here in Texas. So, <coughs> excuse me, just wanted to show you guys what I got. Because it's pretty cute and I just wanted to share. So first thing is going to be the stuff I got from H-E-B. So first thing, I got these little bunny salt and pepper shakers. So I really like these. I use them for glitter. Um, I have squirrel ones that I got from Dollar Tree. Let me show you. So, which the holes are in the back. So now I have some bunnies to go with my squirrels. And I put glitter in them. So I just have something fun to have my glitter stuff in. And then I got this mold right here. From, from there. Which is like the mermaid girl with the mermaid tails and the starfish. So I will be making resin pieces with these here shortly. So stay tuned for that. You'll probably see those in future videos. And then I got this one which is like... A cone ice cream, a popsicle, and a scoop ice cream. So those are going to be fun to dabble with and make. I also found this. It's a little clipboard with different kinds of post-it notes on it. It was $1.50. It was half price. I thought this was really neat and it kind of helped me keep organized. So I got that. And then I got these. To make rosettes they come in the two pastel pinks a yellow and a green so I thought these would make really easy rosettes so I got those and then these weren't Easter themed but I found them and couldn't resist so there's like these polka dots with the bright red and you got 75 for $1.99 so I got those and then I found these so these, there's two colored ones and then a maroon one, so let's see. I don't know if the maroon one's textured. No, it's just maroon, so the, I thought these were pretty cool and color blocked and that would make some pretty cool um, rosettes as well, so I got those. And then, I don't have a box in here anymore. I don't have trash in here anymore. This is what I got from Amazon today. Um, I've also gotten a few other things. I can show you something else I got. But um, these were only like $1.99 for the four-piece set. So I went ahead and got them. Who doesn't like snowflakes? So that was a good deal. And then I also got this from Amazon. And I have some I got from eBay as well that are right here. They're mixed up, but in different colors so I have more coming from eBay but anybody who buys off eBay like or Ally knows it takes a while for them to come so I got some here I did order some seals so those are coming in Wednesday so I will probably have a video of me trying out some seals when I get the rest of it but this did come with like the scooping some candles so I did get that off of Amazon as well. And then this is what I got from Peachy Cheap. I am also getting the Maggie Holmes Floral Bouquet Collection. But this is what came in so far. So first thing is, is these Color Creates 10-piece marker sets. And I actually noticed when I looked at these that this is like the style that people are using to do call calligraphy writing. Where it's like the long tip and then it's thicker and if you can see right here there's a good color to it so I'm gonna try to figure out how to do the calligraphy writing probably gonna stink at it but anything is practice makes perfect so that would be fun and if anything I can use these for extra like color and stamps or anything like that it was just a really good deal for some high quality brushes so I got that and then I got the die cut collection so it came with all of these sets right here 
So let's open them up and check them out. Um, can I open this one? Is this a... Oh, this is a K&C Company one. That's cool. Are this a K&C Company? No. Um... Oh, I could have opened it from the bottom. I'm a silly bit. All right. Here's these. These would be really pretty for rosettes. So, that's those. I did buy a pack of these 112 Studios on Amazon a while back. And it was like Valentine's themed. And I paid like $6 for it for just one pack like this. So the fact that I got all of these packs for $7.99 plus $3.99 shipping was really just an absolutely awesome deal, in my opinion. So here's these. It's like this one. This one. That one. Another one of the other ones. This one. This one and that one. So that's that set. And then here's this set. I like this color scheme, it's really pretty. This is big. This would be cute on a card. Oh, yeah, these are huge. Look at this, compared to one of these. They're huge. And then this one. So that's what was in that set. I'll try to be quick about it. And here's this one. This one's butterflies? Ooh. That's cute. And pick them. And then, like the hollow ones. I wonder if you could layer these. Yeah, you could totally, like, kind of. Not really. <laughs> That's cool, though. So there's that one. And then this one. There's three more. So I just kind of want to show you guys all the little details of each one. So this one's like the pink one, just in that triangle glitter. So yeah, this looks exactly like the pink designs, just in the triangle glitter. Yeah, it's the same ones. Okay, that's the same thing. And then this one, this one has two types. So it has like all the smaller shapes, so like circles and flowers so you can make them like 3d and then it has these i'm not gonna show you guys the solid color ones because i feel like that's kind of pointless to show those because they're just plain but here is the fabric like the design paper design ones solid polka dot that would look cute with the polka dot at these like with the red. Do the red with the polka dot. That'd be cute. Make a little flower rosette. Solid. There's this one. Blues. Stripies. This weird flower one. <laughs> Let's see. Paper. I don't know. Polka dots. More stripies. These feel like Halloween colors. Oh, I dropped one. Hold on. Sorry. Last one. Here we go. Here it is. It's been salvaged. Polka dots gray. More brown and orange. Big pokies. Orange. Blue. More polka dots. And then another brown. So, that's a good little mix. To make layered flowers. And then this is the last one. It's like the first one, but it's in, like, neutral colors. 
so there's like white black tan and white tan and black and then black and tan so there's all that that came in all in one pack for peachy cheap so okay excuse me again it's a very good deal and then this is what I got from Ali. I'm sorry guys, for some reason I'm hiccuping. So I apologize. So here's what I got from Ali. So I got these, cause they're gonna go with these. And I saw the video from, I believe, it was either Crafty Kimchi or Craft Pur Crafty Purge or Craft Purge where she took these and she took strips of ribbon and turned them into tassels. Um, I do have it in my tutorials playlist here on my channel, and I can also link it in the description below so you guys can take a look at it. But I got these in three different sizes, so I could, so there's like, this one's like five, and then I think this one's 10, and this one's 15 millimeter, or it's like five, eight, and 10. So I can use my different types of ribbon. And so um, we're going to try that out. And I'm going to make some ribbon tassels with these. But as you can see, they're all in different colors and styles. So I bought the jump rings to match. So that's what that is. And then I got this hourglass die cut. And the cool thing about this die cut is when you pull it out, the package ripped so it has the hourglass and then it has the piece where it's the sand and then it has little hearts it cuts out to put at the bottom like that's what you're filling your hourglass with so it's a cute little three-piece set so I thought it was cool so I went ahead and grabbed it so there's that I'm just gonna set it up there and then I got a pack of pattern origami paper to use in some of my crafts for my paper stuff. It's not very thick paper, but when you need some paper that isn't super thick, these are good for adding like an extra bit of color in places. So these are all the same thing. So I'm just going to show you each page for what they are. So there's that one, and then there's this one, and then this one, and then that blue with the blue flowers and hearts. This one, that one's really pretty. And then butterflies, and then this purple one, and then pink leaves. This would be cute for die cuts too. This blue one, there's a whole bunch of those. This one. And then this one. And then this one. And there's 70 sheets all together and they're just random. Like they're not even amounts of each one. But it's off of Alley, so I'm not surprised, <laughs> honestly. So then I got some 6x6 paper pads. I bought them um, 12, like... And a 12 sheet, so there's just a single sheet of each one. But this one's called The Meaning of Love. And this is the pattern paper for it. It's only one-sided. I love these, like, hydrangeas. There we go. That pink, the pink roses one is really pretty. There's that one. Then this one. Then this one. It's the pink it's the three mixed together polka dot and then here's the blue one in the green really like that one and then this one a plaid and then we're back to what I already showed you for that one so that's what I got for that six by six this one was called violet dreams for some reason these don't have the front covers but Violet Dreams. And I'll go ahead and I'll post the links to the stuff that I have links for, like the Amazon stuff and the AliExpress stuff. So this one, this one, 
that one. These are just so pretty. This one's like this one's like little itty itty bitty tiny chevron. So that's that one. I'm knocking everything down with these. <laughs> okay, just go back. Alright, and then this is the last thing, the last paper. This one is called uh, treasure voyage or something like that something voyage I will link it in the description and you can get these as 24 sheets I got them as 12 though so and they were like 238 for 12 it's not too bad for six by six and these are nice because some of these actually look like steampunky with like feathers and flowers. There's gears. And then, I don't know what this one is, but it's cool looking. And that's it. So that's all the paper textures. That's everything I got recently. So um, you probably will see a lot of this incorporated in stuff that I'm making here pretty soon. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.